Alright guys and welcome back. Um, since last time I uh, just checked uh, inside Motion Builder how it looked when I uh, zoomed in on the hand and it actually happens that uh, I put the hand a little bit inside the rifle also in animation so if I compare that with the, with the, whoops, with the hand position uh, inside Unreal it's uh, actually spot on. So it's just the same that we see in here. So if I want to do something with this, I could just uh, adjust the animation inside the uh, motion builder and it would fit perfectly inside Unreal as well. So I'm, I decided not to, to uh, make any adjustments to uh, the position of the, uh, the rifle in the hand uh, anyway. So in this video, I just want to um, take a look at the animation under we have under combat no sorry uh, idle walk run cover we have a, a also a, one of the old animations that I adjusted a little bit on um, this one is called um, cover crouch idle and um, I want to take the hand pose from the, the animation we just looked at and combined with this one so that we can get a nice crouched um, armed pose um, because I, as far as I could tell uh, Mixamo didn't have this animation so I'm just gonna make that instead of um, uh, well, um, waiting until somebody makes it um, so as we did before, we need to record this animation uh, and this one is also just one of these uh, idle states. Um, so it's just a looping idle state with uh, 76 frames. So I have this running and I'm gonna record that. Call it, um, what was it called? Cover Crouch Idle. SA and hit OK like that. So we have one complete cycle. I can't remember what exactly why I started. Uh, I think it shouldn't matter that much. Where are all these warnings coming from? Um, anyway, I see. Um, I guess it was something. Let's just say frame 19, and then remove everything before. And then we need 76 frames. Let's see if I can do this. Nope. So one less. Seventy six frames. So let's play and see if it well if it seems to loop. Yep, it does. Uh that went way more smooth than before. Okay, thank God. So let's save that and export it. Um export so cover crouch idle sa and open motion build where we have this stuff here so um what i want to do here is to i've shown this in some previous videos uh, where i used the story tool to mirror uh, animations but I'm just going to use the story tool today uh, in a different way, um, but kind of still similarly. So um, first of all, let's me let me get in uh, get the animation in. Um, so import the cover crouch idle sa, and pops up over here. Just motion file import. That's going to bring him in here. And let's call that take 
something different because I forgot to rename it. Unreal Take One, right click and rename. Um, Crawler, Crouch, Idle, Say. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to the cover idle rifle sa take here and I want to switch to the story tab and uh, minimize this one and then insert a character animation track select the character and right click out here and say uh, insert the current take and then I because I'm only interested in the hand pose here I'm gonna say deselect full body and only select the left arm and select the right arm so uh, then I will go to the um, cover crouch idle and that's gonna melt in this animation with the, the pose here I'm just gonna check if the hand looks correct so it's gonna sit here with the rifle pointing downwards and I guess that's gonna be okay I think one of the, the idle animations has in pointing the rifle upwards. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, just going to go with this one since that's what we have right now. Um, but that's basically what I, uh, I needed to do in here to get this done. So I can um, right click here and say plot whole scene to current take. Uh, actually, maybe I don't want to overwrite this one. Maybe I could use this for something else. I'm gonna make uh, take two new. I can copy this for the current take here, and I'm gonna rename this take two to cover crouch rifle idle. Well, I say. And um, then I'm gonna say uh, right click and plot the whole scene to the current take with these settings and plot it. So if I turn off the story now, it's gonna stay in that position. And if I play the animation, uh, we have a looping animation uh, just with him pretending to carry a rifle. So let's go ahead and motion file export that one and call it cover crouch idle um, rifle S A uh, F A rifle cover crouch rifle we call it there. Yeah. So let me give it the same name and it doesn't really matter, but. Uh, so we'll export this one and and we can bring that into Unreal Engine cover crouch rifle idle on OS Atom so there we go so now we have a character now we have a, a mannequin now armed and crouching so that was the first animation in a series of um, how many we have uh, uh, let's see we have a mirrored version that we need to make we have the animation where he's sneaking and to the left and sneaking to the right and so it's three animations more we need to make. But I think uh, unless I come across something which uh, becomes problematic, uh, I'm not going to cover the production of these animations. If you really like me to do this, um, you should uh, leave a comment on my channel. Otherwise, I uh, think I'm going to skip that because I'm not sure that I will cover anything new uh, in these videos so um, let's take a look at our little uh, to-do list here um, so what we have been through is uh, how we can characterize a character in motion builder and we brought in an animation from Maximo and I didn't talk about skin weighting 
uh, inside Maya. I um, actually kind of worked my way around this for now. Um, we talked about how we can use the IK uh, effectors inside Motion Builder, um, and um, we figured out a way to know where the left hand is by using this technique of uh, repositioning the, the rifle uh, as we did in, I think it was part 94 or something, yeah. And then um, finally we have uh, repositioned the left hand in one of the Mixmo animations actually and combined it with another Mixmo animation uh, and now have the rifle in the correct position. So I think we actually covered everything except uh, uh, this stuff with skin weighting and um, when I wrote this uh, it kind of made sense but actually in the meantime I, I'm i not really sure it's the, the right time to talk about this yet so I think I'm gonna do this and kind of remove this from the, my list of what I, I will cover I will maybe get back to it uh, on a later time um, but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And um, as mentioned, leave a comment if you need me to cover, huh, cover the cover, crouch, sneak, and other animations and how I make them. Otherwise, uh, next time I will uh, post something. I'm gonna show how to put this um, inside our blueprint so we can implement some of that stuff. Uh, inside Unreal Engine. So bye for now and uh, see you later on.